what is going on everybody it is tonix and i'm here to bring you two tutorials in one video the first tutorial is how to use your device that can any device that can download applications or apps as a, a camera for obs as of right now i'm using my iphone 6. so in this tutorial i'm going to be showing you like literally everything you need to get the show on the road so the first thing you need to know is you will need two applications the first application, it doesn't matter how you download this, but you need to have one application on your device and one application on your computer. So the one on your computer, I'm not going to do this because the last time I did this, I tried to, you know, do another a tutorial video and um, I clicked download drivers for Windows 10 and it fucked up everything. My camera went off and it pissed me off. So um, what you want to do is you want to download drivers and once you download drivers in like the, you know, installation corner, when you're installing the uh, the application in the corner, it'll be an icon that looks just like this. And make sure it looks just like this. If it's not, do not click the next button, man. And unless they have an update in the future, and if they do, I will have update video as well. So after you do that, you know, get to the installation screen or whatever. Then you search it. You search this in your computer. I'd recommend pinning this to your start or uh, pinning this to your uh, tax bar. I have it as my taskbar and to my start. My hair is so itchy. Oh my gosh. Um, so when you download that, this window will come up, right? Don't look at my motherfucking bumps. Do not look at my bumps. Um, <laughs> you're gonna need this window open at all times. Like, do not minimize this this window or anything. Do not double click it on the in the taskbar. Do not do anything. Leave this window open and like put it to another screen or just make sure it's in the back of all your applications that you're using if you just have one monitor because it'll mess everything up. I'll show you at the end of the video when I'm like I said when I'm about to end the video, I will show you what happens once you minimize the screen or you exit the app or you exit the app on your phone. So we're gonna put this over there. Excuse me, I was about to minimize that. Y'all didn't see that. Um, <laughs> um, well, so once you do that, you want to download the one on your phone. Now, uh, this is in the way. Let me move this away for you guys real quick. Actually, no, I'm just going to move this down. Now that you can see it. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. So, on your Android device, if you have an Android or uh, a Windows computer you would need to download this right once you download this you will need to keep it open at all times and i rec i also recommend that whatever device you're using as a camera you keep it plugged up 24 7 because your phone you will not be able to turn your phone on sleep mode or turn it off or press the power button anything you can't do any of that your phone has to stay on and this application has to stay running it's just like you recording something and it's basically you recording yourself except the storage is not going on your phone it's going on your computer and um this is what it looks like for androids or um windows devices for apple devices or apple laptops macs or whatever this is what's gonna look at it has a whole different look on it <clears throat> as of right now this is the one i use and it works perfectly fine it's what i'm recording with right now every now and then though um it will go off and all you have to do is like you know get up and close the application on your phone and just reopen it. I will show you the process of that at the end of the video. So we're gonna go back to OBS, okay? So um, we're gonna exit out of this. I'm gonna remove that because that was in my last test video I tried to do. So you're gonna wanna do, um, uh, yeah, um, Windows Capture. You can name this Cam1. Um, and before I show you, I want to have to move this to order, move to the bottom. That way you can't see it just yet. No, not the very bottom. Shit. Move to the top. Right. We're just going to minimize it to make it smaller. And would you look at that? It messed up on me. And it came back. You see that? That's crazy. Minimize it small enough, I think it'll go away. Oh, never mind. I don't know. Okay, anyway, I hope you guys can still see this. I know before, I couldn't really uh, see it. So we're going to move this just over here. That way, uh, you know what I'm doing. So, like I said, once you click on Window Capture, um, you go over here and you try to find 
what the application is called and it's going to be the very first one you click OK and then what you do is you come over here um, I kind of want you to be able to see this I don't know how it's going to go can you see the screen no that's in the way basically um, I have OBS recording this right now which isn't a good idea but so on OBS studio I have I can use the alt button which allows me to get rid of these watermarks it's better if you just go up instead of over because when you go up you can kind of center everything you could I'm continue to press alt right now and um you can actually do it this way that way it looks centered that way you look in the middle and um you just shit I didn't mean to do that one though and uh, I'm using control right now to move it anywhere I want to. Now you can see it's stuttering right now without me using control. Now I'm using control and it's smooth and you could put it anywhere you want. So um, you get it lined up with whatever uh, box that you have or anything like that. And you are good to go. <clears throat> so the next tutorial that I have is uh, testing the audio. So um, I moved to a different uh, scene really quickly. So what you're going to do is uh, property shit no not property filter you go to filter and then um that way you can see how everything's so everything is currently removed right so um you want to press noise suppression this is the first thing you want to do if your mic is really bad like mine this mic. Fifteen, right? And I make it sound a little bit better, just a smidge, man. Um, so I have mine on negative sixty because I hear everything that's above me, on the side of me. I hear everything. The next thing you want to do is noise gate. This helps a lot, right? So I have this on ninety six, and I have this at like thirty six. Wait, you know? yep, I have this about at like thirty six, thirty seven. I don't really care. It's somewhere around the 30s. Next thing is your gain. I always keep my gain at about 8.0. Okay. That's where I normally keep my gain, and it sounds pretty good to me. Um, my voice sounds really annoying right now, and I don't know. Why. Yes. So this, I'm coming to the end of the video, and now I'm going to show you what happens once you click out of the screen. So I have now clicked out of the screen and you cannot see anything right so now we're going to open it back up and this is what it looks like when you're trying to connect it it looks like that because this is your computer device um that you're using to actually record with and this is whatever device that you're using as a camera right now like i said it's my iphone so that is what happens um when you press out of the application and open it again, try to reconnect. So I'm currently going to get out of my chair in order to bring the camera back up and to show you how many tries sometimes it takes for you to bring your camera back up. I was lucky because this time it only took two tries. I mean, one try. Sometimes it takes way more than one for me to get everything to work. And um, I really hope this helps you all out. And um, if you have any questions, I